The economic divide that we are seeing in this country is unprecedented. And in the Bay Area, it is especially harsh. Entrepreneurship is one way that a lower income person can be successful in a way that so many jobs cannot provide. Right out of college, I had three jobs and I was looking for a fourth to pay my bills. And I wandered into a brewery one night and the guy told me all about it and I was like, that's amazing. I, I would love to be a part of this. And he was like, well, I'm hiring. You should apply. And it became my amazingly awesome gateway into this industry. And within six months, I had quit all my other jobs and basically moved into this passion that I just couldn't seem to kick. I spent the majority of my adult career as a professional brewmaster and I wanted to start my own brewery, call my own shots, not answer to somebody else. Renaissance definitely had a huge play in where I'm at right now. I, I can honestly 100% say that I would not have this bar and I wouldn't be looking towards the future of a brewery if I had not taken that class at Renaissance. When I opened it was me and two employees and now it's me and five employees and every month the sales get a little bit bigger, a little bit better, and I also hear from farther away people who have heard about this place. So um, one of the coolest things is that I got, a, I got a note from a friend who was in Austin, Texas, and said, I saw somebody walk by with your hoodie on, and that they were like, I just had to go up and be like, oh my God, the good op, I know that person. And so they sent me that note, and I thought that was, that was a mark of, like, of making it, that I had made it farther than just this corner or just this neighborhood or just Oakland. Our clients are incredibly inspiring. They are taking their financial futures into their own hands. They are able to live life on their own terms. They are able to generate incomes they probably had not thought were possible. And they are able to create a legacy for their families. Desde México, mis padres tenían una compañía de empacadora de jitomates y ellos tenían alrededor de 100 empleados. Ellos siempre fueron personas que trabajaron por ellos mismos y es de donde nació el amor a ser una empresaria. Renaissance provides our services in English and Spanish. We've been conducting Spanish language classes for almost 10 years now and we've recently expanded them into San Francisco. Lo que he recibido de Renaissance es un aprendizaje que no tiene precio. Un aprendizaje de cómo administrar mi negocio de cómo llevar un seguimiento con mis clientes, de cómo saber cómo mantener al cliente. También uh, el simple hecho de, de tener otras personas alrededor de uno que están aprendiendo a cómo seguir o a, a abrir un negocio, que tienen un sueño, eso también lo inspira a uno. Cuando vine a este país traí una maleta, una maleta de ilusiones nada más. No traía dinero. Me acuerdo que mi mamá me dio 100 dólares. Mi hermano vivía acá. Y, y yo recuerdo que fui a un salón a pedir trabajo y me lo dieron. Y, y, y poco a poco fui aprendiendo y ahorrando mi dinero para poder un día yo tener también mi salón de belleza. When I uh, came to the United States, I don't see my dad, I don't see my mom for five years. And I really miss them a lot. In Mexico, it was really difficult. They don't have enough money to, to take care of business. And I have to stay here. I have to follow my dreams too. Día con día ha crecido más. Ahora tengo una lista de clientes de más de 200 clientes. Y cliente satisfecho, referencia segura. So Angie was the manager of the incubator um, in Soma and she was the director of the Bayview Center. And the Angela Kane Memorial Award is a chance for us to recognize Angela's role. Angie had a dynamic personality. Mm -hmm. She was a go-getter. She loved people. She was bubbly. There, she woke up every day and she wanted to live that day completely, fully. She enjoyed life. She laughed a lot. She laughed a lot. <laughs> So we are very pleased to award the Angela Kane Memorial Award to James Mabry.
I come from the Bayview Hunters Point, the southeast sector of San Francisco. Um, and it's, it's a pretty rough neighborhood. Um, to come out um, and, and start your own business is something no one even thinks about. You know, it came a time in my life where I had to choose whether I was, whether it's gonna be work, dead, or gym, you know? And I said, I'll go to work every day and I'll give my 100% to, to build, you know, something positive and right that the kids in the community can see, my kids can see, and I'll, I'll give my all. I did construction for over 12 years, right? Um, and that, you know, kind of dissipated in 2009 when the economy crashed. You know, it was seeming like I was the last one hired, the first one fired all the time. So I was really frustrated. I said, I'll take this energy and I'll put it into myself. So when I was laid off in 2009, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go full-time janitorial. I, I bought myself a, a, a broom, a mop bucket, a squeegee, and a vacuum cleaner. And I said, you know, I'll do it. I'll start it. I'll, I'll work myself like I work on a construction site. Renaissance has um, given me so many resources, classes that I've went to to help me understand how to manage and control the back office of a business, the front office of a business, how to take my money and reinvest it in business. I now have nine full-time employees, including myself. I have over 16 clients. I employ both of my sons. And, and everyone that I hire uh, is, is, all of my employees are from the Baby Hunters Point. We're coming back into the community and we're providing jobs. We are inspiring. Um, I, I'm, I'm at the, the Little League football games. I am, um, I am providing for families, mothers and fathers to support their kids. And they see their moms and dads in work uniforms. And where are you going? Well, I'm going to work, baby, to provide for you. So I'm inspiring uh, the next generation is, is what, I'm, what I'm doing, me and my business is doing. When someone invests in Renaissance, they are investing in the possibility of transforming someone's life. They are helping somebody who was possibly very low income to start a business that will allow that person to be economically self-sufficient, that will allow that person and his or her family to live well, and to create better futures for their children. Any person who comes to me and approaches me about opening a business, I always send them to that class. I, I send them the link, I send them the verbiage, I tell them to go to the orientation. In the last year, I was 15 years with my business. We made a few small cans with many products. We rifed them there. And people bought the rifes. My friends bought the rifes. And that money was donated to the organization. You know, from time to time, I'll, I'll make small donations to give back to help other entrepreneurs that are coming through the Renaissance program because I understand the struggle.